Oh, hi, I'm a smart investor. I dare say that because I understand the cryptocurrency markets and I am up to date on every new development, fintech and blockchain ecosystem. All because I watch the Inside Blockchain Show on Crypto TV Plus. Every Monday morning, Crypto TV Plus brings you news headlines of top stories, interview with an expert and give you detailed market analysis to enable you make the right business moves. Now you too can become a smart investor if you don't miss it. The Inside Blockchain Show, only on Crypto TV Plus. Are you there? It's your boy. No, sorry. It's your daddy, Mr. Macaroni. Keep watching Crypto TV Plus if you want to be doing well, especially. You get me now? Hi. You are doing well. Hello and welcome to the program. This is Inside Blockchain, live from Crypto TV Plus. I am Bobby Andike. Now, before we presume, if you're watching from Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, and this is your first time on the show, kindly follow us on all our social media platforms. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, with the curtain down on 2021, Nigerian women operating in the tech industry have closed mouth-watering deals worth millions of dollars. They have also started new ventures and promoted the cause of gender equality. Now, based on research in sub-Saharan Africa, women constitute only 30% of professionals in the tech sector. Now, further checks have also revealed that only 12% of global fintech founders and co-founders are women, and only 6% of fintechs have female CEOs. Now, although not having a fair share in the tech industry, it is right to say that Nigerian women, and by extension, women all over the world, are making genuine impact on a global scale. Now, on today's episode of the Inside Blockchain, we'll be taking a much more closer look at some of the opportunities for women in tech, and by tech, we'll be taking also a deeper look at some of the uh, innovations of technology ranging from blockchain, cryptocurrency, Web3, Metaverse, and, and you know the rest of them. So uh, we'll go on a quick break, and when we return, I will introduce my guest for today. She is a crypto educator. Stay with us. Today, we are counting down the top three most expensive NFTs in the world. Sitting on our number three spot is Clock, which was sold for $52.7 million. Clock is a piece created by Park and Julian Assange and almost acts literally as a clock, counting the days that WikiLeaks founder Assange has been imprisoned. The goal of the NFT was to raise funds for Assange legal defense and was ultimately purchased by Assange DAO, a collection of over. Hello, my name is Chiki and I'm the boy of the bullet. Keep watching Crypto TV Plus. Don't touch that DAO. Peace. Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. This is Inside Blockchain. And like I mentioned before we went on the short commercial, today we'll be looking at some of the opportunities for women in the tech sector. And I have here with me Kike Lomo Ayodili. She is a high performance coach and a crypto educator with over 10 years experience in the industry. Kike Lomo, you're welcome to the Inside thank Blockchain. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. I must, I must commend you. You look amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. So before we kick it off, I believe the viewers out there, this is the first time we're having you on the program. You know, people out there would want to know who is Kike Lomo at your daily. How would you best explain yourself? Okay, uh, I would like to keep it simple. Okay. Like you rightly said, I'm Kike Lomo at your daily. I'm a high performance coach and um, impacting lives positively is my passion. Okay, I'm also a naturopathic doctor and a cryptocurrency. So can you repeat that again? I'm a naturopathic doctor. So what we do is okay. um, we use natural means to treat people. We believe in you healing. You can also heal, okay. you know, naturally, provided you put yourself in the right environment and you eat the right food. Okay, with nature, you will be fine. Okay, that's fantastic. Is that, yeah. like, is that like the core thing you do or is it like okay, on the so side? Ah, uh, well, it's on the side. Okay. I don't even know what's my cord. <laughs> because I, I'm always, um, I try to be at my best, whatever I have to do. Okay. And it's like everything is calling for my attention. But really what gives me joy is um, going around the world, teaching people how to gain financial freedom. 
That's fantastic. Yes. So it would only be right to say that you are more of a multi-sector professional. Okay. Yes, that's fantastic. Right. So let's just dive right into the discussion for today. What comes to your mind when you hear the word tech? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Technology. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously, but like in a more detailed way, what, what comes to your mind when you hear tech? Uh, okay, so, well, if you say tech or when you talk about Web3, I would say, well, the first thing that comes to my mind is how this world is in advancing okay. and how we need to really embrace this evolution that is happening around the world. And we need people, women especially, to embrace this thing, not to lack it. Yeah, that's, that's very interesting. I totally agree with you on that. So, now, what would you say, uh, it's, it's a good thing that you actually mentioned women, so what would you say are some of the stereotypical challenges you faced, you know, working in your space, you know, like you mentioned, you're someone who believes in empowering women with education and giving them financial freedom. Yeah. So what are some of those stereotypical challenges that you faced over time? Okay, so the first challenge is this gender thing. Okay. Okay, so men feel, even in the, spa in the place of work, we still have to see them the way we see them at home. Okay, not accepting the fact that the fact that we're at work, a woman can be better than you at what she does. Okay, okay so they feel, men most of the time, they look down women. Okay, especially in this IT thing. Okay. They feel you do not have what it takes to measure up you know, to what they have to offer. That's the major challenge women face. And the second thing is support. When you don't get support, either financial support, societal support, even the government is not helping matter. You know, in, in encouraging women to come out, to be their best in this, oh, in this space, in this tech space, yes. the government is not really encouraging us, which I would want the government to look at, especially in this part of Africa, Okay. okay. So, so picking a picking a cue from what you said, you said one some of the challenges, some of the stereotypical challenges is that men do not give the needed support and men actually look down on women. Now, why don't we look at it from another aspect? Now, instead of going by the narrative that men look down on women, what if we look at women not being interested in tech? What is the what are the odds of that? Well, not okay. I can say that only a very low percentage of women and women are interested in it. But when it comes to the challenge, the very few that are interested, how are they treated out there? Are they accepted? Is a man willing to take that woman's leadership, to accept that woman's leadership in that same field they are? That's a question I need to ask you know, men. So it's not about women, or it's not about the number of women we have in this space. It's about the very few that we have that are bold enough to, you know, go into this. How many of them are respected? How many of them are given the opportunity to really play in this space? Well, that's, Without looking that's, down that's very, them. very pragmatic. I believe that's a question everyone out there would actually need to, you know, have some introspection and get the necessary answer to that. So now yeah. the reality of women you know, constantly complaining of not getting support from their fellow women, you know, in tech and other professional spaces is actually raises concern. Now, do you think this is true? Yes, Have it you is. experienced yes, it? Yes, it is. It is. You know, you what, know, what do you think is the way out for that? You know, women have this competitive spirit. And of course, they always want to be ahead of their counterparts. Okay, so this competitive spirit will not want to make them share what they know so that they will always stay ahead of the fact. I think that's the major challenge we have. So what, what would you say is responsible for that competitive spirit? It's just a natural thing with women. You okay. get it. Always wanting to be ahead. Always wanting to be the best. Always wanting to be the lead. Okay, so that's just it. Okay, so bringing it back to the previous conversation, can we say that you know, we can't totally blame the men for not providing the necessary support? So do women actually have a role to play? in this by not giving themselves the necessary support. Okay, so Can the we way, say that? No, we can't because the way we see men, of course, by, by default, as a man, you're supposed to support every woman you see. Okay. You, can, you, you get me? Because of the way we are made. And so when you see, like I said earlier, only a, a little percentage of women are actually in this space, mm -hmm. this tech space. Do you get it? So the very few that are bold enough to do that I expect men to respect them and encourage them and also try to bring the best out of them. Not seeing them as, um, not seeing, not, not wanting, not, not seeing them as though they cannot submit to their leadership or their rivals yeah. or, okay, now this is a man thing. You know, this is our African thing. They just feel everywhere the man is the head. But okay. it's not always yeah. like that uh, because if you see women in schools, let's bring it home. Okay. 
we see in the secondary in secondary school, you see women coming out as the best. Okay. Right when they go for these um, international exams, even our uh, YEG jam, you see women coming out. So are you trying to tell me when it comes to tech, women don't have the brains to? No, no, no. To that's do that's that. that's not what we're saying. What okay. I'm saying is, yeah. so why would a man now feel when it gets you, we, we applaud women when they succeed in that space, right? Yes. So when they are now in this other space, you just try to look down and say, no, please calm down. Your place is the home. Your place is the kitchen. Do you get it? Yeah, Not believing that they have what it takes. You know, they just feel you should be at home taking care of the children. You should be at home doing the home, whatever Chores, thing. Yes. Yeah. But the truth is, this is 2022. I believe the narrative has changed drastically. It's changing. It's changing. Mm -hmm. You know, we can rightly say that. So. And it's not really felt in Africa yet. It will. It will be felt on the long run. Uh -huh. Yeah. So coming up, uh, we're still looking at opportunities in the tech space as we have here. Kiki Loma, your daily high performance coach and crypto educator. We still have much, uh, you know, much more discussions. So we'll pick it up right after this commercial. Stay with us. Right now, the metaverse is making headlines as a new technology. Now, because of these headlines and capital flowing in, there is a boom in metaverse projects, with each having its own view of shaping the future. And on today's episode, we will be looking at the top five metaverse projects that would offer you great return on investment. Now, to pick it up, at number one, we have Gunstar Metaverse. Now, Gunstar Metaverse... Hello, my name is Chiki and I'm the boy of the bullet. Keep watching Crypto TV Plus. Don't touch that die. Peace. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us. This is still Inside Blockchain, live from Crypto TV Plus. And like I mentioned before, we went on a short break. Today, we're looking at opportunities for women in the tech space. As I have here with me in the studio, Kike Lomo Ayodele. She is a high performance coach and a crypto educator. So Kike Lomo, now um, let's move a bit into the space that we all play very well in, which is blockchain and cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. Now, the number of women in Norway who own some form of cryptocurrency doubled during 2021. According to, this is according to a survey on the internet. And that's not just the case. Now, Another survey in Turkey, which was released in March by KuCoin Crypto Exchange, indicated a more even distribution between male and female crypto users in the country. Now, with women accounting for almost 47% of all crypto investors, okay. and when we bring it down to our home country, the case is different. You don't get to see a lot of women you know, investing or even interested in cryptocurrency. What would you say is behind this? That's the place of education. What you don't know is bigger than you. And if you're not willing to learn, there's no way you would know. Okay. We need to educate the women more. And also in, in, in terms of risk taking, men have a very high appetite for risk taking. Even when they are clueless, you know, when it comes to what they are yes. going, jumping into, they do not mind getting into that thing. Unlike women, we take calculated risks. Yes, you, you just know, have and to you know, as, as and we know that ads. in cryptocurrency, there's a whole lot of benefits there. Mm -hmm. But um, we know it's also it's highly volatile. Okay, despite the gains, it's highly volatile, and women are not willing. To lose we money. are not willing to lose. So, but when they are taught and they understand that space very well, the losses will be minimal, okay. and they will be willing, of course, to play well, play big in this space. Oh, that's fantastic. So my, 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 my take home from what you said now, the key thing there is education. Yes. Women need to be properly educated. Yes, yes, so yes. how do you come into that? What significant role oh, can you play? Oh, that's what I love doing. Okay. And um, that I, have, I have a crypto academy. It's called Crypto Lab. Okay. And what we do is to bring cryptocurrency, make it very simple for people. Anybody can understand, even your children. Okay, you don't have to see like one very difficult thing. It's as simple as ABC. As long as you're teachable, you're willing to learn, we are here to help you understand how to play in this space, how to calculate your risk, how to manage your portfolio, what project to get into. All you need to understand about cryptocurrency. It's big, yeah? It's yes. wide, but there are different aspects of crypto that you can major in as a woman or anybody can actually major in. Well, wow. from from what you just well, from what you said, now I actually deduced that you seem to be a very professional trader. Maybe we just have to. It's not even about just, trading. <laughs> okay. Cryptocurrency has gone beyond trading. Exactly. There are other ways you can make money 
That is why it's called decentralized finance. Okay, you can get into liquidity providing, you can get into farming, you can get into staking. There's a whole lot about this thing. It's, it has gone beyond trading. Because when it comes to trading, if you do not understand your onions, of course, you need to understand the fundamental analysis, you need to understand the technical analysis, sentimental. Exactly. If you can, if you don't understand all of these things and you don't know how to read the candles, you'll just get into the market at the wrong time or you come out at the wrong time. Like I always tell people, crypto is full of regrets. So the more the, the, the earlier you learn this, you know peace. Because sometimes you get into the market and once you are out, you feel, oh, I wish I did not get out. Exactly. And then you remain in the market, oh, I wish I came out. But if you understand how it works very well, why not? Well, that is simply you take care of greed and though. you make so much money. Exactly, exactly. So now let's uh, let's take a look at some of the women at the grassroots level, and by grassroots level, I mean women who have little or no knowledge about what we're talking about now. Okay. You know, so what would you recommend? What would you recommend to be a realistic approach on how some of these women can be nurtured to realize their dreams, not just in tech in finance, in medicine, you know, in government, what are some of those realistic steps that you can recommend for women at the grassroots level? Believe in yourself. That's the first thing. As a woman, you have everything, all that it takes to succeed. They say what a man can do, a woman will do better. Why? Why, because why of, is the conversation always revolving no, around that's that That's the truth. Because, you know, as a man, okay, permit me, the way God made you as a man, we are double refined. So we take time to analyze things. And once we want to go for that thing, we go all out. So for every woman out there, believe in yourself. Don't let anybody, not even your husband, no man, nobody should put you behind. Believe in yourself. Of course, you need the support of your husband. You need the support of the men around you. Respect them, but believe you can't do that thing that you are set out to do. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. Women out there, you've all heard it. Now, before we wrap it up, let's talk a bit about gender inequality. Um, so what, what, um, what are some of the significant um, impacts that gender equality has had on the blockchain gender space? Gender equality or inequality? Inequality, inequality, gender inequality in the blockchain space, in the tech space, in the finance space. What are some of those impacts you, know, you think it has had over time on women? I think I said it earlier. It just push you at the back. You know, when 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 this gender inequality thing comes to play men just feel you don't have what it takes and then they push you behind but women that understand how these things work they don't stay at the back they are always at the forefront like i say to every woman be, be the best you can be every man who want to have you having in the sense that would want to employ you would wish you are their wife or you are the wife would wish you are the daughter the moment you bring out the best and you do not allow anybody's side you, that's it. That's fantastic. You know, there's actually a reason why I brought that up. You know, they say reputation is meant for emphasis. Now, um, we made mention of a couple of things before we went on a commercial about how women fail to support themselves. Mm-hmm. Now, you've made some very strategic points by saying uh, some women are usually relegated to the background by the men. Now, what advice would you give to women out there who do not give support to their fellow women? Oh, I would say they should stop that and give support to your sisters. Give support. It's, a, it's every success a woman has achieves or has achieved or will achieve is our collective success. So it doesn't matter who the arrowhead is, and that's why we are women. We, are, we have the womb to give back to, to give back to, to successful people. We are like producers behind the scene. We give birth to children. We see that our children are successful. We give birth to our husbands, quote and unquote. We see that our husbands are successful. Okay? We support. They say behind every successful man, there's a woman. So if we are supporting men, why not support your sister? It doesn't matter who the arrowhead is. Give support to every woman out there. And we will collectively um, share in that glory. Oh, that is very, very motivational. Uh, the women out there, you've heard it from Kike Lomo Ayodele. Believe in yourself. Support your fellow women. And we'll go on a quick break. Uh, we'll pick it up right after this commercial. Stay with us. How long can you hold a millionaire in a year without spending it? A week. So what do you plan using one millionaire to do? I think I'll get a phone, a laptop, then make some investment. How much is phone, how much is laptop, and how much you have left for the investment? But just for phone and laptop should cost about 600k. Then investment should be even 
should be like a millionaire, but I'll just manage a mini 400k. Hello, my name is Chiki and I'm the boy of the bullet. Keep watching Crypto TV Plus. Don't touch that, that. Peace. Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. This is Inside Blockchain live from Crypto TV Plus. I still have here with me in the studio Kike Lomo Ayudili, a high performance coach and a crypto educator, as we have been discussing some of the opportunities in tech for women. And I must confess, Kike Lomo has raised some very strategic and monumental observations. Thank you so much for some of the points you made. You're welcome. Now, before we let you go, I want to understand your crypto journey so far. What would you say or how would you describe your crypto journey so far? Uh, and what advice would you give to newbies? We don't want to know. No, we want to know exactly. Uh, actually. I've been burned severely. Okay. Well, because I've been taught you don't leave a business because you have failed. You leave because you want to leave, not because you fail. My personal opinion. Mm -hmm. I don't know if people out there will want to fault it. I've been burned severely, but I stayed there. I kept at it i said this thing people are succeeding in it i also would succeed so i along the line i started seeing my problems okay the first thing i had to overcome was fear the first thing i had to overcome Which was is a fear major problem. second thing i had to overcome was greed greed and that's one major thing i'll say to every crypto trader crypto whatever you are out there take care of greed take care of um fear and the Third major thing is have professional guidance. Have professional guidance and um, a mentor. There's, the journey is easier when you have a mentor, when you have someone that would hold your hand and then lead you. Mm -hmm. And I really thank God for the people God has brought my way. I mean, in this crypto space, one of them is Mr. Tola Fado. He's one of the people oh, that, of course, when it comes to when I need to ask, seek advice. Mm -hmm. And of course, I pay a lot online to the likes of, um, what's this? There are so many of them out there where you get signals, trainings and all. I have, I am still paying, okay? Yes. Because the search for knowledge, the more you know, the better you get. The more you learn, the better you earn. Okay, so that's my belief. So my advice for people out there is, first, take care of your fear. You can't do it. You have what it takes to do it, regardless. Don't leave that business. Don't leave the crypto space because you have been burnt. Hang in there until you succeed. Then take care of greed. Make sure you get a mentor, professional guidance. And then you're good to go. There's so much money in this space. Trust me, you don't want to know. It's only in this space I know that a nobody would overnight become a somebody because of the way the blockchain is built around cryptocurrency. Thank well, that's, you. that's simply fantastic. Yeah. Um, so I actually got three things from what you said. The first thing is overcome your fear, um, manage properly, manage your greed index, and finally have a professional mentor. You know, so you've heard it all from Pika Lama. So before we let you go, just to wrap it up, what is your take on NFTs and the metaverse? I don't like NFTs. You see those non-fungible tokens? Why don't I don't you like, like them. them. Why don't you like so them? So we'll talk about that some other time. I don't like them. People are making money there, and I'm just there because I also want to make money. Put your head so that there. Means when you, is, you own a couple of NFTs. When, 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 of course. Oh, but okay. the problem is, the major challenge with NFTs, if you're not careful, you end up owning one and you won't be able to sell. For me, as a woman or African lady, okay. you must, um, whatever you are getting into, you must understand that space very, very well. If you are in it for gains, make sure you cover all the lapses. Most NFTs out there now, they are so expensive. And after you purchase them, to sell, sell becomes a is problem. a problem because you mm -hmm. don't sell them in fractions. You get? It's just one whole unit. That's why they are called non-fungible tokens. But for Metaverse, I am all ready <laughs> for it. Because it's like you living this real world in the virtual world, yeah, marrying yeah. the physical and the virtual world together. It's so beautiful. You can have parties all over the world in that, you know, in that virtual space, space in that yes. digital space. Okay. So it's beautiful. And um, you can also own assets. The likes virtual of land. Assets, yes, yes, virtual assets. You can own virtual assets there. And... Um, the metaverse is something everyone should look out for. Oh, and I'm sure if you pay attention to it, you're going to make so much. 
That's Thank fantastic. You. Uh, so just to add to what you said, you know, you said something about NFTs. That right now there is actually uh, an innovation where you can actually buy NFTs in fractions, in fractions fractional yeah. NFTs, mm -hmm. and it's also important to note that NFTs are not just for collectibles and in-game items. To, no, I'm not trying. To, I'm not to, trying to convince you. I'm just simply trying to let you know that NFTs will reinvent itself over okay, time. Okay, so maybe after the reinvention, I would now okay. pay attention to Fantastic. it. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much, Kikelemo, for Bobby. coming. Thank you. Thank today. you for Enjoying having me. Thank it's you. been an absolute learning experience. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here. Thank you so much. Bobby. Do enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, and you too. Yes, and that's all for today. Visit our website, CryptoTVPlus.com, to get more updates and trends captured within the world of blockchain, cryptocurrency, GameFi, and Metaverse. Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, at CryptoTVPlus, and on Instagram, at OfficialCryptoTVPlus, to get daily info on our programs. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and tap the bell icon to stay updated on our videos. If you have questions about the program, share them in the comment section below. Thank you for joining us. I am Bobby Aidike. See you next week.